Welcome to Navarre Beach Insider. If you made it to this video, you are likely searching for Navarre Beach rentals. So we will get right to that. Um, one thing I do want to mention um, as we go through all the information in this, what we're calling the Ultimate Navarre Beach Rental Guide, um, feel free and we'd appreciate any comments uh, you could make there in YouTube. Um, maybe share your experience if you've been to Nav Navarre Beach, any good luck, bad luck with rentals. Uh, any tips you think might be helpful or just comments on uh, how we can make uh, our information if you check out the website or the videos better uh, would be appreciated. So again, this is going to be on Navarre Beach Rentals, so we will get into that. And really, we just want to explain um, a lot of reasons why we created this. It uh, was inspired by a recent trip to Navarre Beach and uh, realized that really the most important thing is getting the uh, Navarre Beach rental settled. So that's why we tried to make this uh, what we hope will be a handy little guide for anybody who was in our shoes um, about four or five months ago looking to rent in Navarre Beach. So uh, real quick what we're going to do is go through just locations, uh, the locations on Navarre Beach. Um, obviously cost is always a big factor. Um, are you going to rent a home or condo and what goes into that conversation and making that decision? know where to book what are the best websites um, we do have what we think will be a, a money-saving tip we're going to release at the end of the video um, that could help some people and we're going to do the big reveal show you actually where we stayed on our trip and go through our VRBO um, invoice and bill and kind of line items some things um, that we saw there and then also um, reveal that uh, potential uh, money-saving tip so all right off we go. So the first thing uh, I think that's important is it's all about location in real estate. Location, location, location is what they always say. And so we will go over and we spend a lot of time in the on this website, um, Navarre Beach Insider, and you can see it's called the Navarre Beach Rentals Guide or the Ultimate Navarre Beach Rental Guide. And it spends a, a lot of time talking about uh, the location. Uh, on Navarre Beach and let me walk you through that and go over to a map here of Navarre Beach. So as you come over the Navarre Beach Causeway, which is the main thoroughfare to get onto the uh, island or the isthmus or whatever you want to call it, where Navarre Beach lays, you have the, the sound side, which is nice calm water, good for swimming, and then you have the gulf side, which is just absolutely beautiful, and where a lot of the uh, nicer condominium complexes exist with all of the great oceanfront views. So let me zoom in a little further here. So as you see Navarre Beach Causeway come across and then you get on the Gulf Boulevard and you'd make that would be a right on the Gulf Island Boulevard and over here you're gonna have a lot of the major condo complexes. Um, you know it's Navarre Beach is not terribly developed, which is fantastic and probably why you're considering going there. Um, but what we wanted to do in our guide is take a look at all of the major condo complexes. And to us, um, and maybe to you, it's very important where you are in relation to where the bridge is, because if you want to go over and go to Walmart or Target or some of the restaurants, you are going to be going back over that bridge quite often. So you may, um, the closer you are, it does get a little more congested. We didn't find the traffic to be a problem. Um, for the most part, we were there in uh, July of 2019. Um, but as you come further and further west, uh, it is going to be definitely less congested um, until you get all the way up to uh, the nice thing about Nav Navarre Beach is they have little um, reserves or national parks on each side. So you've got the Navarre Beach Marine Park here, and then as you go further west, you're going to run into, eventually, I will get there, uh, the National Seashore Reserve, uh, which again is why Navarre Beach is so nice and considered uh, you know, the undiscovered uh, gem of the Gulf Coast. So, all right, so in our guide, we list the properties going from uh, the Navarre Beach Causeway and then going west. Because for us, uh, if we were to make that decision again, 
our life was going to revolve around Juana's Pagodas. We didn't know that, but it is the tiki bar, it is the nightlife, and we were there visiting my brother who's lived there for 10 years. And he plays in his volleyball leagues there, and we were probably there three, four nights a week. And uh, we wanted to, we actually didn't know this going in, but um, walking distance was key, and we ended up getting lucky, and that's where we ended up renting. As a matter of fact, a little preview, that's where we rented, but I'll talk about that later. So again, uh, location is, is uh, really important, and we'll go back to our guide. And we've got some nice quick links here to go through our sections on locations and costs and amenities. Uh, we have a nice chart here that talk about the June rental rates. Um, June, May, June is definitely the high season. Uh, actually, we'll pop down there now. June is definitely the highest um, cost as far as rentals. And what we did is we listed out all of the properties, um, or the, at least the major condo properties on the Gulf side, um, by you know in relation to where they are uh, from the causeway. So you got Summerwind Regency Beach Colony, the Pearl of Navarre, Sugar Beach Townhomes, Caribbean Resort, Beach View Navarre Towers, Belmer, Emerald Surf, Sun Dune Condominiums. It's possible that we're missing um, a few, but in our research and uh, being there for two weeks, that's what we came up with. So you can see pretty easily that uh, where they are in relation to their rates. Again, this is the most expensive month, but we thought it'd be most representative. If Belmer is most expensive in June, it's likely going to be most expensive in January. So we thought that would be helpful uh, for everyone. And then another thing we thought would be important if you have some flexibility of when you're traveling is the, the seasonal rental rates. So this is aggregate of um, a lot of the properties. Uh, we were able to pull this information to aggregate it from uh, VRBO. And you can see that May and June definitely outstrip all the other months as far as popularity and, of course, on cost of rentals. So be, be aware of that. If you have some flexibility, you might be able to save some money um, looking either at the end of summer or in the uh, spring or if you don't care about uh, 60 to 70 degree weather, maybe January or Feb or February are your months. Um, but anyways, I'd say in general, uh, Navarre Beach is a little bit lower cost than a lot of other beach communities. Um, I, again, it depends on the community that you're going to be in and um, you know what part of the year. So we're going to talk hopefully some good resources there for you on costs. Um, as you go through our list of all the different properties, you'll see we put some dollar signs out here. And we have a, you know, a brief blurb about each of the properties. And we assign dollar signs, $1 sign, $2 signs, or $3 signs. Obviously, $3 signs is the most expensive. Um, and then going down to $1 sign. So I would say between this chart and this chart right here, you know, you should get a pretty good feel for what properties are at what uh, cost point. And again, we've arranged these going from the causeway and then west on Gulf Boulevard. So you can take a look at all of that. All right. So you've got, uh, we've talked about locations, we've talked about costs. You know, now it's the big question is, uh, you know, a single family home or a condo. I'm going to go back to the map for that. So I would say on the, I'll call it the, um, oh, maybe it's, you know, the, the first two miles of Gulf Boulevard after you get off the causeway, you're going to find um, most of it on the Gulf side is taken up by the condo complexes. So if you want a nice beach view, uh, that's probably where you're going to end up if you want to be closer to the bridge back to Navarre. Um, there are quite a few homes, you know, in that area as well, but they're going to be on the sound side. Uh, we ended up staying on the sound side. It was, you know, a three to five minute walk over to the beach. Not a problem at all. Um, we had a little walkway out to the sound, which was nice because we ended up having to battle tropical storm slash uh, hurricane Barry when we were there and they had double red flags out on the beach and we couldn't get in the water for three or four days while we were there. So it was nice to have the sound uh, to do some swimming. Uh, if you're going to Juana's, um, they have some nice swimming and then do rentals there at Juana's as well. 
And so uh, you know, the, the sound is always a nice option if you want calmer water. All right, so those are, are your uh, options on uh, condos or homes. As you get further down the island, uh, you will see some more uh, single family homes that are available. Uh, the further you go west, uh, we booked three months in advance, and now knowing what I know now, that was not nearly uh, enough time in advance. So I would suggest that you book as far in advance as possible if you want the, the widest inventory available. Uh, after being there for two weeks and seeing all the homes that at least said they were for rent, um, I think the inventory was really picked over by the time we decided to uh, or got booked. Um, because it seems like there are a lot more houses for rent than what we, sh we showed on a VRBO. All right, so let's talk about where to book. So we talked a little bit uh, at the beginning of the uh, blog post about, um, you know, we've used VRBO off and on for 15 years. We've always been very happy with it. So, you know, that's what we ended up using. Um, I think you'll find that uh, they have the largest inventory. Uh, the, you know, there might be other sites like Booking.com or even Expedia, or I think even TripAdvisor uh, can do some some booking. But uh, that's kind of our go-to to do our first filter of finding the properties that are available. Um, most of those listings will actually be managed by a, another rental company. A couple of ones that uh, we found were Beach Rentals at Navarre, Navarre Properties, Southern Vacation Rentals. Uh, Wyndham Na Vacation Rentals is obviously more of a national company, and they have a pretty large presence down there also and uh, appear to have a local office. So uh, VRBO, maybe your first filter. Um, you know, we talked about this uh, potential money-saving tip, and we actually uh, did make some calls into some of these local rental companies, and essentially, you know, they most of them are going to list their properties through VRBO, um, but they do say it's potential to save the booking fee uh, that VRBO charges if you were to go direct with them, if you can find out who manages the property. So. For us, we had never been there before. We trust VRBO. Um, you know, there's, you know, everybody needs to make money, and they provide a good service because you get the, the biggest listing of, of vacation properties. And so, for us, just having that national backing of a company um, behind us, you know, we felt more comfortable booking through a VRBO. But that is um, a potential, I guess we'll call it a hack, of how you might be able to save uh, money, and. I am actually going to show you our bill. So um, it actually gives me a bit of a stomach ache thinking about this. You know, I already had the phone and to go or the fun and to go back and look at uh, your bill kind of hurts a little bit. But we were there for 14 nights. Um, you know, we were there just after the highest season in the uh, you know second week of July. And so we can see we paid $284.28. It was a single family home, two bedrooms. You know, we we're perfectly happy with it. We like the location. So no complaints there. Um, you'll see that they break down the actual 14 nights. And that's obviously the bulk of your, your fees there is, you know, the rental. And then you have your owner fees, administrative fee, not really sure what that is, cleaning fee, understandable. Um, you know, we had a long rental, so... Uh, we definitely got our uh, money's worth out of the cleaning fee. Um, the service fee, I suspect this is probably uh, VRBO's cut. So if you take $400 over a $4,000 rental, you know, you're talking about a 10% uh, booking fee. You know, I consider that re reasonable. Again, everybody has to make money. And, um, you know, we like the backing of a large national company. So property damage protection, um, I'm not really sure what this is. You know, I think we tried to get around it but we just ended up paying for it lodging tax obviously uh, Navarre Beach gets their uh, their piece of it we paid the deposit and as you see here we got the deposit back so that's a look at what the quote is again um, at the end I will show you the actual property that we uh, ended up in uh, so you can have some understanding of based on what we paid what we got for it again it was just off the, the peak of season of the year All right, so to go back to the website, 
Um, like I said, we talked about location, the cost and amenities, uh, a couple of nice charts for you as far as seasonal rates and what June rates look like. We give you some ideas on condo or house. Uh, if you want to use our links to go look at the VRBO listings for Navarre Beach or any one of these rental companies, they are all here for you to look at. And then some other things uh, we would appreciate. Uh, we are trying to build an email list. We'll probably do updates to the site a couple time, uh, times a year. We're going to try and um, get some sort of discount package put together um, from some of the uh, places where we went. There were some um, great parks. There were some great restaurants that you may not know about unless you spend two weeks there like uh, we were or if you go there regularly. So we're going to try and hit some of them up see if they would be uh, willing to give our readers a bit of a discount and we would send that out to anybody on the email list. So that's number one. Uh, if you want to share this with anyone on Pinterest, uh, tweet, tweet it, Facebook, we have these annoying icons that follow you everywhere and you can definitely do that. And if you are looking more for single family homes, again, we would talk about uh, you know, going to VRBO as a first first step. Um, things on the sound side, there is a community called Village at Navarre. That's actually the community we stayed in. Um, there are, there's a community called Sunset Harbor that is also sound side that uh, single family homes. But again, we would suggest go to VRBO and then uh, you can use some of the links on our website to uh, look at some of the other listings. And that is just about it. So last thing we wanted to do is, uh, again, the, the money saving hack is potentially if you wanted to go down and find the local company um, that manages the rental, if you found it on VRBO, again, we wanted a, a national company, but there might be an opportunity to save this service fee, looking at our bill. I might consider that if we were gonna stay for that long again, because uh, $400 is a lot of money, and again, my stomach's turning a little bit just looking at the uh, what we paid for this rental. So, um, anyways, uh, we'll, we'll go back to uh, the posting here. And the last thing I said we would show you is our actual listing, and that's this map that I've been using with our VRBO posting. And here is the little house. I think they call it the Del Mar. Uh, we will have a link to it. Um, back on the website um, in case you want to look at this particular rental. Um, but like I said, you know, we typically go to VRBO first. You know, if you wanted to try that hack of go finding the local rental company, um, you might be able to save some money. Um, and other than that, hopefully you will get some use out of uh, this handy guide and uh, check out some of our other things. We're going to have uh, some beach packing list and some other articles about uh, all the things that we did and things that we thought were uh, good to do and some things that we didn't get to um, while we were in Navarre Beach. All right, thanks a lot and thanks for watching the video.